Hi, this is Fred from Pixel for Fiction. Today I would like to make some recommendations on how to use the Muslim Pilgrim's Outfit Pack. In real life, this outfit is composed of two pieces of clothing. A loin cloth, which is called a czar, and a shawl covering the shoulders called Rita. This shawl is sometimes adjusted on one shoulder. It is then called Rita Itiba and it is worn in certain cases during the Muslim pilgrimage. Let's start with the loin cloth called the czar. It is a single piece of cloth, usually made of cotton or linen. The pilgrim must not wear anything underneath. No underpants, no pantacor. So the loin cloth must be firmly attached to the waist and avoid poses that could expose your private pots. At this point, you can activate the physics for cloth simulation. Only the bottom of the loincloth is active. I advise you to use the general mode in the cloth simulation properties. Now, let's talk about the shawl named Reader. As you can see inside the pack, you have the main shawl Rita and an additional part. In the real world, this is a single piece of fabric. But first we need to recreate the illusion of a complex and aesthetically pleasing drape. As you will notice, the additional part has a physics map in the cloth simulation. In most cases, this can be dispensed with. I know that many people don't like to activate this simulation because it requires careful setting of the collision shapes and also activating this simulation requires significant system resources. However, if you are happy with the main part as it is or your character is not in close up, you can also make this part invisible or remove it. Now we have the shawl in its variant called Ridaidiba. Again, you have two pots, one main part and the other additional part that covers the left forearm. Contrary to what has been said before, if you use this additional part, you must absolutely engage the simulation. Indeed, this additional part is positioned and configured to obey only the movements of the left arm. In some cases, if you do not activate the cloth simulation, you may get unwanted visual effects. However, if you are happy with the main element, forget about this second part. It is only there to add more realism. If not, activate the simulation at least for this additional part. That's all we can say about using this pack, which includes complex but visually very interesting draping elements. I'd also like to say, or rather suggest, that you don't use this outfit in extreme poses. These recommendations are generally for beginners. A complex drape like this will obviously not allow for extravagant poses with the skinning or even real-time garment simulation techniques usually used in the Reillusion Suite or other real-time rendering engines like Unreal or Unity. The important thing is to not deprive yourself of complex and aesthetically interesting garments while recreating some illusion of reality. If you have any comments, adjustments, or other additions to ask for to improve or complete this pilgrim outfit, feel free to do so in the comments. This is Fred from Pixel for Fiction. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. See you soon.